Kevin Cassius, IFL Team in Association with Macklin Jim Marbella. With me, I've got Johnny Nelson. Can I just say, what, what, what? you're like, like, you're like, you're so famous. Everywhere you go, people asking about you. Saturday, all the Irish were asking about you. Everyone was asking, where's Coogan? I said, what? Does it look like my man? Everyone's asking for you. Why are you hating? Like your box. Why are you hating? I'm not hating. I'm just like thinking, how do you manage that? You're like super famous. How did you manage that big old farm you've got? <laughs> Oh. Well, I've been working on the land for quite a while. <laughs> We're at the press conference here for uh, Canelo Khan. And you can see by the turnout here, this fight is what we thought it was going to be. Huge. Yeah, you know what? I, I, it's, a, it's a big indication of how, how much attention this fight is going to attract. I think it's a good shout. I mean, he was working with us on Saturday night. Uh, in Manchester and he gets it he knows exactly what he's got to do he knows what he can't do and to me you know once this fight was announced I said that's the only way he beats Canelo and, and some people are saying no you're mad I'm telling you now if he boxes how he did against Devin Alexander he beats him that's what I'm saying and, and, and my first my, my first prediction this year has been right I said Frampton you did say Frampton. Yeah, uh, uh, so I'm telling you now. Maybe if, he, if, if, if a mere boxers, he gets the win. And I mean, you speed, use movement, in and out, I'm telling you, he gets the win. And Mayweather, the show that can happen. You confuse me with your talk sometimes. That's what I do. You try and baffle me. I know. Because you <laughs> says he can win, but will he win? That's what I'm saying. But the thing is, that's what he has to do to win. That's what he has to do. And if he can, if he can execute that, he wins. If he stands there to have a tear up, he doesn't. But he can win, and that's why I'm saying I think he can do it because when a mere boxes somebody and he respects them and he's fearful, he boxes outstandingly, you know, and he doesn't want to get involved in the tear top. And I think terrible. I think that's exactly what he'll do here because they respect the power of Canelo. He'll be fearful of him, so I'll think, you know what? I've been with, I've been in my game here. It's when he gets complacent that's when he loses. So you've got no problem with me labelling this video Nelson backs Khan to beat yeah, Canelo. Back, yeah, put You're backing it, it, yeah. Put it down there. What about the weight situation? Got a... I think, I, I, listen, you see him walking him out now. He looks solid the way. Canelo has to get down to the weight. He'll get up to it. Quite clearly, Canelo's going to be naturally stronger of the two. But I actually think weight-wise, when he comes into weight, I bet there's not much, not much, that much of a difference. I mean, he's got a big back. He's a big unit. Mm. You know, and, he, and, and that, he, he does have to squeeze in and get to, to the welterweight division. But that's of, of, of months of training, that's what you have to do. But he's got the size, he's got the frame to make the weight easy. Mm. Well, we're about half hour away from the press conference to begin. The turnout is mental, isn't it? They've opened it up to the public. And, um... I'm surprised. It's a clever move. I, I think we're going to chase him on the media tour New York later on today. Are you going to New York? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you going? No. Oh, and then, and then Los Angeles after that. So it's going to be a, it's going to be an interesting one. Are you going to that as well? Yeah. What, are you doing all of them? Yeah. What you? Yeah. Ah, oh, fair enough. Remember, you got me the job. All right. <laughs> Don't go political. I'm not getting political. Um, I'm just having I didn't a snap. Managed to catch up with you after Frampton versus Quick. Yeah. Um. Quick just didn't do enough. Uh, he didn't. He left it all too late, and he will regret that. Uh, he'll regret that because I think, what did I do? Because when he put it on, then it was more competitive, and it was more of a chance for him to to, to, to pull the win in. But he left it too late, and I was surprised. And I'm not knocking, knocking Joe Gallagher because I think Joe is a very good trainer, very accomplished. I was surprised when he said, when he heard how Sky had it scored. He then thought, I better time to step it up. He should have seen that himself. You know, I was even surprised at some of the guys saying, I think uh, Carl had it a draw. Jim had uh, at one point Scott Quick ahead. I didn't. I struggled to give him a round. But um, when he started to put it on, then we thought, here we go. And I thought he would regret it so much. The next day when he gets up, I should have just put my foot down earlier. I don't know if there will be a rematch or not, but Frampton boxed well within himself. Um, uh, and, and, and Quigg just chose the wrong tactics. So I'm not saying it's an impossible tax, task, it's just that he... Brendan calls it three smart. And that's what that's what George Gro Groves did the second time box Carl fought. Instead of using that that, that pace uh, um, uh, to jump on, uh, on, on Carl the second time, he tried to outbox him, that smart him. Therefore he got picked off. So you have a smart, which is too smart for me, and you too smart, which is you'll never outsmart me. Or three smart is when you outsmart smart yourself. And that's exactly what Scott Quigg did. He outsmarted himself that night, thinking, I'll take my time, I'll, take my, I'll be patient, and then pick it up halfway through. After six rounds and gone, 
He was on a losing streak. But ultimately, do you think the fight was a letdown? We've been waiting a long time for this fight, and then apart from the last sort of I, I was four or five I rounds. I was surprised because, listen, we can only do what we can do. We will build the fight up because anybody with the amount of intense rivalry between them, it could only have gone one way. Well, what we thought. Uh, I was kind of disappointed because I knew there's a lot more to Scott Quigg than what we saw. And we saw it midway through the rounds. And that's why uh, I know he'd be kicking himself when he gets up to look at it again, thinking, damn, this is what I should have done. This I should have dealt with it. Because it could have been a real humdinger. Because the second it set a fire, everybody was on it, you know. But Carl Frampton, he found himself not testing. He thought, all right, this works well for me. Take your time, son. Try and warm me down. He'll pop, pop, pick and pop. All right, Johnny Nelson, listen, thanks for talking to us on TV. Can you kick yourself for me? Huh? Can you kick yourself? What? I don't know, you said, like, Quig will be kicking himself. Can we just see you kick yourself? You made that look cool. <laughs> don't mention it. Thanks a lot, Johnny anyway, Nelson. Anyway, 1-0. So far, 1-0. All right, okay. As in predictions, I'll be doing 3-0, 5-0. By the end of the year, there'll be, there'll be all nils, man. I get it all right. All right, all right, all right.